today friends this is the ranger raptor that's right this is the car that i've been a truck that i've been borrowing from ford for the past couple of months now i'm absolutely obsessed with this thing to the point where I'll, I'll reveal it a little bit later this is my first experience with a pickup truck it's my first experience with a vehicle this big i've only ever had an suv that is an x5 and i hated it i hate big vehicles in the uk it is silly so i have a whole bunch of things to talk about with this car it's going to be an interesting video because this is basically going to be me explaining to you is this car stupid for the uk and ford gave me it so are you ready for and so the first answer to that question is no i love pickup trucks in the uk so i want to give you a quick overview of this truck this is the ranger raptor it's the top of the range they're basically small trucks compared to the us and if we uh drop the bed down you can see that the bed is actually quite small so it is a double cab which i've learned <laughs> means that there are seats in the back now again unlike the big trucks in america this only has four seats five seats including the middle seat no middle seat for the front i'm like slightly nervous I, I, this is definitely someone's land and i just kind of decided yeah this is the perfect place now the reason this kind of area of vehicles has picked up recently in the uk the to do with tax reasons we're not really supposed to buy vehicles like cars that petrol anyway so a lot of people buy vans and trucks for their commercial and then are able to kind of save money essentially and buy it through their company so this segment has blown up recently especially with mercedes and now inside the segment there was in fact a point where i considered a mercedes truck and that's not happened i like this i was kind of hoping today would be overcast it said it was going to be it's not it's kind of it's kind of bright anyway our trucks in the uk this one for example has a four cylinder engine <laughs> which is about half the size of the american okay it's actually not the raptor in america has the v6 but the v8 is available for the actual f-150 this has four cylinders it does have some turb skis it's okay so without further ado let's uh let's get out of here This thing is so sick, I love it. I'm in four-wheel drive. Shush! <laughs> All the mud is flying off. That's beautiful. Get it off, boy! Welcome to the Ranger video. I've been I've been using this for the last couple of months and I absolutely love it. I didn't think I would, but I do. Okay, that's a lie. I absolutely knew that I was gonna love this thing. Uh, from the get-go as soon as it arrived like it just looks tremendous. I love the size of it This is probably the first time I actually look Okay, don't look small, but like I look like I fit in a car that is Tremendous to me and I am so happy with it to give you a rundown. I think SUVs are stupid I don't think they make any sense in the UK whatsoever. I think that anyone that buys one is boon You don't need it get a hatchback. But what I will say is a truck and a van. Oh Yes absolutely you need one you need one uh, you don't think you do and you think oh my god this is absolutely massive it doesn't make sense in the uk uh it does and i kind of get why suv people buy suvs we understand they do it for like a complex thing but at the same time speed bumps and our horrendous roads don't exist in something like this <laughs> i have not felt a proper bump in a very long time i live in a place that has is, is small town it's very very small everywhere you go doesn't matter park it like a champ you have to like reverse quite a bit more into a space and like get out check a couple of times use the sensors but it fits i will say a conception i did have is i thought that people would be a little bit more afraid of me okay I got the SUV complex a little bit. I was like, all right, this is big. People will move out of my way. Do they? Absolutely not. <laughs> People think, oh, it's a truck. It's going to be slow. Let me just uh, whip out in front of that, that boy. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare to say the least. I've gotten used to it. My driving style has always been very defensive. And so it's not that much of an issue for me, but I think people that are expecting people to stay out of your way, don't. 
because people are mental. Now, another quick thing I wanted to throw in there is obviously I, it's a, it's an off-road kind of focused boy, and I really. I, I really had to take it off-road and I was like, you know, I'm gonna have to find somewhere da, da, da. As soon as Ford said that I'm getting this, but a day later they were like, oh yeah um, Would you like to come to like an off-road ranger escape thing? Y yes What yes, of course I would I want one you are on. Can we have it? Um, yeah. We just not give it back. <laughs> the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I love it. Not that we do this every weekend. No. But like, I just love this truck. It does everything. We were saying how we're even charging stuff back here. Yeah, like we're camera charging batteries cameras. While we're doing something else. Where we need cameras. It's so good. <laughs> I want one. I can't see nothing. I can't see anything. We're about to go through the, what do you say, a water trough kind of thing? Yeah. Look at this, here we Look go. Look at that, someone's gotten there. Someone's got a cross. <laughs> We're going through here. I feel like I'm at a theme park. <laughs> you feel like a theme park. <laughs> it puts you in the water. <laughs> Americans will be watching this like, this is my driveway. <laughs> so amazing up here where we are. I just said, look at that. And he's like, nope. nope. That was so much fun. I never would have been able to find a place like that ever. It was in Wales, which was just awesome. I've, I've, I just didn't know the capabilities of a car like this until I went there. And so I'm glad that we actually did. I will say, would I do that on a regular basis? Probably not. I don't think anyone would, but we like to think that we can do that. And this can, unlike all of the stupid SUVs that exist in this world today. So that's a, that's a point. Now, I'm gonna jump in and say the downsides of this vehicle. Again, it's big, it's not for everyone. It's a little bit scary to drive at first. Honestly, it's really not that bad. It's super skinny compared to like what you think uh, And I've driven the LC and I think the LC is Wider they say four cylinders is enough for this thing. It's like oh, you know some people might have worries about it not being enough That's very much a thing. I do worry that it's not enough power Sometimes like when I was going up the hills on the road to Wales. I had a couple of times. I was like mm, not too sure if this is like it's, it's struggling, is what I'm gonna say. It was struggling, but it didn't ever not do something. It was always, always able to do something. Displacement anxiety is what Ford said on a, on a public thing a while ago, uh, but this is the only engine I believe it is available now until the new ones come out next year. And I'm gonna be honest, I think the next set of engines would kind of hold me to, to wait before jumping on the gun. Couple more cylinders, and this would be insane. It would be mental, but it ain't no slouch as is. It's faster than most people's road cars, like little hatchbacks and stuff, which is surprising considering this thing is so big and so heavy, and it's got about the same engine size <laughs> as every little car that exists on the UK road. It's safe to say that this thing has converted me to being a pickup person. I'm a truck guy now. I live in the UK. That's that's weird. We don't buy trucks. We buy transit vans because it rains all the damn time and we can fit more in them and they're more useful and more practical and every way. But this is so much cooler, man. It's so much cooler. Once again, like most Ford vehicles, it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and a stereo that's pretty good and it has everything you would want for like a daily comfort car. And I'm gonna say, of all the things I have the ability to daily, I've actually been daily driving this. I know, it's very, very silly. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like, oh, if I needed to pick something up, I could hold everything. I'm gonna pick people up. It's got more seats than the majority of my cars are able to hold. It's got all wheel drive for these horrible winter roads and, I don't care about it getting dirty because it looks cooler when it's dirty. It's fast enough. I don't want to go any faster in a vehicle that weighs more than anything I can imagine. I just, I'm a truck person now. And I live in the UK. I'm gen, am I just American? I love V8s, big trucks. I love everything real big. <laughs> this one, I'm genuinely going to be sad to let it go. I don't want to give it back. Ford, if you're listening to this, please consider letting me just keep it. Please. I, 
you know, if, if, if you don't mind, when the new ones come out, I'll have this one, it'll do. What I will say is there is one significant downside to the Raptor itself. In my opinion, it's the coolest looking. It's probably the best performing at off-road ability and all that stuff. The engine is fine. It works well. It, all the stuff is new. It's got a push to start, so it's keyless entry. All those little things that really do make it feel like a, a real car, <laughs> like a normal car, is the towability. Because of, I assume, the off-road setup and, and combination of things, it doesn't actually tow too much. Two and a half tons is pretty good. If you got a little race car and you can have this and tow, it's, why would you not? It's sick, I love it. Uh, but when it comes to towing things, for, for me, I'm going to be towing my cars that do weigh some, some amounts. I like all wheel drive, I like, I like Lexus. And so therefore, <laughs> some of my stuff's gonna be quite heavy and I want the trailer to be the best trailer ever. So yeah. So if you're not gonna be towing anything, then it's all you need. It's great. I get the SUV thing a little bit more now. It's the do everything vehicle. Instead of having multiple vehicles, because a lot of people don't see the point in having multiple vehicles, a lot of people get an SUV so that they can do anything they want at all times. I get it now. I think it's stupid still. You should get a truck instead or a van, but <laughs> we, will, we will gloss over that. Or you should just buy multiple cars. But you get my point. I really am a country boy now. Good old country boy. That's me in my truck in the countryside doing some off-roading in my lifted truck. I'm really impressed, Ford. I'm really impressed. I think if I was going to pick a Ford to have it would probably be a Ranger. Also, I love the customization. You already know, customization is my life. Customization you can do on a truck. Genuinely, everything's like mostly easy and uh, it just it just all, it makes sense. Everything's easy. It's like hot swapping, easy peasy. Take it out, put it in. Not that. You better watch your dirty mind. <laughs> you know what I meant. I don't think I could live without a truck now, so. That, that was the car beeping, telling me that I'm gonna crash. You know that collision assist stuff? I live in a small place. I have to avoid, it thought a car was stopping. <laughs> it happens on all cars, it's not just this. <laughs> it does forever make me curious though, like, how would an F-150 fit in the UK? That would be both amazing and hilarious. I don't even like the stepping up thing. I don't get that, I don't like being high up. If I could do a single cab and tow just as much, I would definitely do that. Because like, they're lower. I just think that's cooler. Just having a normal sized vehicle. But it's cool that it's big at the same time. And very, very conflicted. This is really conflicted. A lot of things in my brain. And that's good. That's good. So there we have, that is my review of the Ranger Raptor, at least my short term review. Thanks so much for watching and thank you for Ford for letting me borrow this for a while. Please don't take it. <laughs> Smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon. Peace.